Hey everybody, grab yourself a Komi Soda and Stellwall because we are back with more of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we beat the boss of the Earth Temple and found out that we are just not good enough. That's depressing. I didn't actually mean to save. Huh. Maybe I should not save and instead go to the sky like I intended. So anyways, last episode we beat the boss. We found out that uh, Zelda has this, uh, this entourage. Of sorts, this person who is apparently protecting her because I'm just not good enough to do it. Because, you know, it's not like I just got thrown into this crazy thing and have any idea what I'm actually doing, right? No, of course not. That would be ridiculous. Okay, so anyways, I was just getting on that that's not terribly rude at all. Mm, I'm actually very tired. I'm recording this uh, at 9 o'clock at night because... The week was a little crazy, and I didn't have enough time to record a ton of videos. My goodness, I'm moving fast. I want to dive off into Skyloft. I didn't have a lot of time to do a lot this week, so I'm recording an episode because, you know, I want to make sure that I keep it consistent, keep that, uh, keep them videos coming for you guys, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But anyways, we are going to, we're going to take a quick look around Skyloft here. Surely, yes, yes, finally, Beetle, drop your rope, come on, it's time to go to Beetle's ship shop, yep, there we go, no, come on, hey, come back, I need you, come back, I'm back. I'm going to climb up here because clearly that didn't work out too well. But, hey you. Hey, drop your rope. I missed. Drop it. Come on. Come on. There we go. Grab it. And it get pulled up. That's actually pretty cool, honestly. That really is quite nice, Beetle. You're very good at what you do. Anyways, this is only the best part of the entire game, Beetle's Ship Shop. So check this out. He's in such good shape! Oh, you've come all this way? It's rare to have a customer around here. Beetle's Air Shop has everything you need. Please take a look around, and if you actually buy something, that would be even better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's a couple of things that we can get here. For instance, that's a life metal. It just shows a bunch of mysterious and mysterious effect on whoever carries it. What kind of effects? Don't ask me. I don't actually know. You should find out yourself. I'm pretty sure it's a real bargain at 800 rupees, though. How about it? I don't... I can't even hold 800 rupees, bro. Okay, let's, let's buy something that's actually important to me right now. That's an extra wallet. It's amazingly useful. You can carry an extra 300 rupees. Say goodbye to all those times you couldn't pick up another rupee because your wallet was full. Even you must be able to see just how useful this item is for 100 rupees. Why am I yawning again? Yeah, I want to buy that extra wallet. I need that, man. Yeah. Girl. Oh, it really suits you. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and buy this net, too. That's a bug net, you know, for catching bugs. Okay, so there aren't many bugs around here, but you'll be able to catch tons when there's some. It's only 50 rupees. I'm sure you'll make a... Net profit. Wanna buy it? Okay. Oh, I, s I said okay. I said okay. I said okay. I said okay. Come on. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who has a bug net? Use it to catch bugs and some small, small things. When you're hunting bugs, remember to approach quietly and strike quickly. Yeah. So now those bugs we've been seeing, we can actually catch them. That's pretty great. Oh, it really suits you. Thanks, Beetle. Let's see. We got an adventurer's pouch. That'll increase the number of items you can carry. It's the most useful thing ever. Ever. Sorry, Beetle. I don't have the money for all that all that noise right now. Okay, we're good. Thank you, though. Thank you! 
<laughs> Beetle is by far like my favorite character ever. So anyways, we should actually be able to dive right off of this whole place. Or, you know, yeah. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and head into the bazaar real quick. We're not going to talk to Mr. Mr. Creepy Eyeballs because he's kind of creepy. But what we can do is come in here and find nothing. We can find nothing. Here's a bomb bag. Here's a seed satchel. Seeds, arrows, bombs. I don't want to... What? Oh, yes, my friend. I've got something new. I was able to procure a fine small bomb bag. I hope that it delights you. It does. It do. It do. Okay, buddy. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can find stuff and upgrade your gear and take shield beating stuff and junk and yeah, I can do that. Here's all the junk that I can upgrade. Okay, so let's fix our thing here. Let's take a look. We need dusk relics to upgrade that so we're not going to right now. We never got a monster claw, so we can't do that. And we need monster claws and ornamental skulls in order to upgrade our iron shield. So we're also not doing that. Can upgrade the bag to 20. That's actually pretty cool. Huh. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Tumbleweed, ancient flowers, and evil crystal to make a big bug net. So I guess we're not doing that either. So I guess we can't upgrade anything because we suck and haven't gotten enough stuff. Hold on now. You changed in mind. Ah. Whatever. Come back anyways. Little buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and head over here and uh, not use my map. I'm gonna dump this water out. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna dump it out. No biggie. And we're gonna get some potions. Yeah? That's a vat of hearts. Mmm. I make it with hearts. Made with love. That's what these red potions are. You got a heart potion when placed in your pouch. You can use this item to restore all the hearts. If you want to power up the potion and stuff, yeah. Let's see. I believe this one is a rejuvenation. Revitalizing. Pour it on a broken shield and it'll do the things. And it'll also heal four hearts. But, you know. I think we read that before. Yeah. Yeah. Well, more interesting is, what is this one? That's a guardian potion. This mist stuff makes you feel invisible. This potion will reduce the damage you take for a little bit. If you find yourself facing opponents that's a little out of your league, this potion's for you. It's 200 rupees. 200 rupees. Hmm. Yeah, no, I think we'll, we'll not. What does the blue one do? Slow down. That potion isn't quite ready for public consumption, but I promise I'll have it out soon. In the meantime, I've got other potions that you can try out. Sounds like you're just talking like, hey, this wonderful can for a while. Mm. Aww. Okay, I guess we'll just get another heart potion because, you know, why not? Red potions are good, at least. Yes, yes, I would like some heart potion. Yes. You got a heart potion when placed in your pouch, you can heal the things and the stuff, and hey, yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. Okay, let's go ahead and roll out of here, because we've done all we needed to do in the bazaar. Um, let's go and take a little mm, look around Skyloft. Yeah? Yes, actually, no. No, that's not what we're going to do. You know what we are going to do? We are going to grab the stamina fruit. Thank you. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna progress the story just a little bit and run up a pillar because that's what Link does is he likes to run up things that are completely and totally not, you know, relevant at all. Is there a bug? I saw a bug. Whatever. Let's go ahead and head into the goddess statue, statue of the goddess, so that we can do the thing, which is currently placing another tablet. I think I said stablet instead of tablet. I really need water. Come on. Open. Mmm. Much refreshing. Mini crisp. Mmm. Wow.
Alrighty. We have, uh, done the thing. I've confirmed the location of the third opening in the cloud barrier in the sky to the southwest. It will allow you to reach a new area on the surface. Why am I talking about that? I suggest going there as soon as you are suitably prepared. Hey, thanks. That There was, like, no cutscene involved in that, was there? Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and head out, and we're going to just jump off a cliff, because that's how this whole Skyloft thing seems to work. There we go. There's a perfectly good place for me to just jump off and faceplant into the clouds. You know, they talk about this cloud barrier, but what happens if you actually fall all the way down and just hit the clouds? I guess I could find out, couldn't I? That would be interesting. Okay. <sighs> oh, with the yawning. Let's go ahead and... There are two spots for us to go. This one is the closest currently. I think we will pick this up. And place it here. And head that way because... There's a boost. There's a boost. There's a boost. There's a boost. I hit it. Dang. Whatever. We're gonna go ahead and head that way because that's about a... I don't know. That's all I think we can do right now. We could head to the other spot. We could go down to the Lanayru. But that just seems silly. Actually, that looks like a spot over here that uh, I think that's that minigame. So there a, there's a minigame. Yeah, it sure is. There's this mini game where you go and you have to like chop this bamboo over and over without letting it fall. And you can barely do it this early in the game, but it's actually a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and go and do it real quick because who doesn't enjoy slicing things? Hey, buddy, with your big pop belly. Whoa, was that you, Komi? Thought I'd never run into you. Who are you? What? You telling me you don't know who I am? Believe it or not, I used to be the most popular guy in the sky. Mr. Skyloft, that was me. But you might relate better if I told you I was the proud father of Skyloft's most popular girl. Patris, Princess of Item Check. How's that? Does that clear anything up for you, young feller? <laughs> this here's my secret spot where I come to work out the kinks of my sword arm. Work the kinks out of my sword arm, rather. There was a time when I was the most popular guy in all of Skyloft. Folks would always come cheering for me and stuff. I'm not as young then as I used to be. I eat when I get stressed. I eat when I get stressed and I'm worried about my darling daughter all the time. I mean, look at this belly. So, that's what drives a fella here to chop some bamboo. Let me tell you, there's no better way to sweat off those pounds. Here's an idea, Komi. Why don't you try slicing some bamboo? Sure. That's a spirit. Chop away, boy. Hold up a second. Get your horses holded. Get your horses holding. <laughs> There's got to be a way to spice things up in Notcher 3. Yep, that's the ticket right there. You're going to take a swing at riddling down that big ol' bamboo right there in the middle of the room. The thing is, see, it's a contest. See how many cuts you can make before it hits the ground. If you're good enough, you'll stroll out of here with a prize. It'll cost you 10 rupees to see what you're made of. Not free? You've got to be pulling my leg. I told you there's a prize on the table. You think I'd do that just for popularity's sake? How am I going to put two food on the table if I let you play for free? If my family could eat popularity, that'd be stuffed all the time, but I can't. What do you say? One trial costs you ten whole rupees. All right, then. Get to slice. All right. So, we're going to slice this up. Actually, that was pretty good. I didn't expect that. Okay. Hold up, son. You're all done. Let's count those cuts. Your score this time is 28. That's one humding al inger of a score. Humding a linger? Humding a linger of a score. I only reached that number a few times myself. Here's your prize. You got a golden skull, a real male rarity among skull ornaments. Cool. Come on back when you feel like you might want to chisel up that sword on. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I bet I can't do that again, honestly. I think I have to top my high score in order to get something, don't I? I don't know. We'll see.
Yep, 28 was all I could manage. Dang. Whatever. Hold up, son. You're all done. Let's count those cuts. It's again. Hey, cool stuff. Bruh. You got a goddess plume. The rumors say this item was dropped by the goddess in a long forgotten area. That's treasure. Yeah. Cool. Come back whenever you feel like you might want to chisel up that sword arm. Yeah, I'll pass, buddy. Okay. We've wasted enough time on, on that. Um, we're gonna end the episode here, guys. So, thank you very much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the next episode, we're actually gonna do just a little more exploring in Skyloft before we decide it's time to head our way down to Laneru. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.